Good evening, Weather Impact Meteorologist Gary Frank with an update on this quiet night. It's a little bit more humid, but things have been relatively quiet, especially compared to last night. It was quiet last night, but there was one pop up shower storm that kind of impacted us a little bit. And I want to take you to the full screen of the radar and show you kind of what we've been dealing with here. There have been a few of those pop up showers or storms in some places here. You've seen that here downtown. It even rained just a little bit. Uh, but you know, this one didn't sit stationary like the one did yesterday. These are the types of storms that we're going to see the capability of all the way through Wednesday or even early Thursday. You can even still see a few of them right now uh, just south of Collinsville, Oak Hills, north of Fairview Heights on I-64. You see these in the distance. The clouds really start to build, and we've seen pop-up storms like this throughout the day. So that's really the only thing that we're dealing with. You see storms like that. There's nothing severe, but there are opportunities even as we look further to the south. That's where the main line of this is. Now, temperatures have held steady here at this hour right now. It's still 80 degrees, so noticeably a little bit more muggy. Those nights where it was less humid and we were already in the 60s at this point are not here, but still for July standards, not all that bad. Wind is calm. We were five degrees below normal today, um, so that trend continues for us. When we look up to the north, how warm it is even at this hour in Calgary, temps in the mid 80s look all the way to the north. Even as I drag this a uh, little further north for you, you can see so you can see some places uh, well to the north in Canada. I mean, look where it is in Fairbanks. I mean, at this hour, it's 84 degrees, right? So that's where we look at for this wildfire smoke, which there's some wildfire smoke that's starting to work its way down and get even a little bit more thick. And that's what you've seen at sunset and what you'll likely see at sunrise tomorrow as we have more uh, less cloud cover and more clear sky. We will see things clearing overnight, so any pop up showers or storms will be done. Now we've seen just about seven and a half inches rain. I know a lot of that's been in a short period of time, but it's the third wettest July so far, and I don't think that we're going to see a ton add on to that. It's not out of the question that one of these storms develops over the airport, so you get that official record, but I don't I don't really think that we're a going to set any records and be add a ton more to that. These storms as this boundary is around will still have a hard time uh, really producing a lot of rain. They kind of rain themselves out. Notice throughout the day you get to one, two, three o'clock. It looks more active. Watch the sunset here. Seven, eight o'clock. These things kind of fizzle out. That's what we're dealing with. They're, they don't have much movement. They don't have much strength, but they will maybe send you inside for 15 to 30 minutes. That's the type of rain that we're dealing with here. So as we look at the this circulation to the south, this is what I think is going to be responsible for being near enough and providing the energy in some areas off to the southeast. And then this is a cold front that's very weak, but may drag a few opportunities for showers and storms by Wednesday into Thursday. As we look at future cast and I'll switch this on the full screen for you so you can see this just a little bit better. I do think that the opportunity is there in the afternoon south and east of 44. However, this is going to be a better shot well to the south. Notice in Farmington, Perryville, Piedmont, Lesterville, closer to the circulation. That's where I think you're going to see a few more opportunities for maybe upwards of half an inch of rain or an inch of rain. But notice how the rest of our area, not quite as much. So I do want to break this down specifically. Let's just call it and start in, you know, areas in Dittmer and Festus and High Ridge and Arnold. You know, these areas here in Jefferson County will kind of be split where I think a lot of us stay dry. The others, maybe Herculaneum, Festus and Hillsborough have a better opportunity. However, when you go even further to the south in Perryville and Perry County, that's where I think we got a better opportunity for storms here and there. Regardless, we're in the mid 80s, so it doesn't quite matter. Uh, and I think over the next few days, you're going to see temps go from the mid 80s with slight chances of rain on Wednesday as well as Thursday. Then eventually we're back in the 90s for the weekend, but I really think that hit and miss showers. Some of you miss out completely. Some of you may get over an inch of rain, but I think overall most of us are going to get way less than a quarter of an inch if nothing else at all, and that threat ends on Thursday.